Hi. With this movie we will show you how to add a client side validation to your form. We created a simple form with several fields. In this case we used the Bootstrap 3 Forms Designer extension, but you can create any HTML form. Open the Insert panel and click the HTML5 form validator icon. You can see your form, with the form fields, listed in the form fields panel. First, click your form, and check the validate form checkbox, in order to enable the validation for this form. Then, click the first of the form fields, and click the, add new validation rule button. The first rule that we add to this field is required. This field must be filled in order for the form to be submitted. You can customize the default error message. The error message appears when a validation rule is not met, both when typing and on submit. We need to, to make sure that this field accepts only letters. So, open the text rules menu and select letters only. You can customize the default error message. Now, let's add validation to our next field. This is the email field. Here, the user is supposed to enter his email. You can see that there's already a validation rule applied to this field. That's because we've already set the field type to email when inserting the form. HTML5 form validator is smart enough and it converts the HTML5 field types to validation rules. We just add a required validation rule here. Now, let's set up the confirm email field validation. You can see that the email validation is also applied here as this field also uses the email type. This field is also required, so we add a required validation rule. We need to make sure that both of the email field's values are equal. So, under Other Validation Rules group, select Equal to. In the Value field, we enter the name of the field that we want to compare this field value to. We want to check if this field's value is equal to the email field value. So we enter Email. For the next two fields, a radio group and a text area, we add only a required rule. Click the Save button when you are done. Now let's preview the results. You can see that the validation works both when typing and on submitting form. When we enter a wrong value, the error messages appear under the form field, as well as the field is then colored in red. When the validation is OK, the field becomes green. That's how easy it is to add a client-side validation to your form.